Pope Pius VIII, the 20th of November 1761 to the 30th of November 1830, born Francesco Saverio Castiglione, was head of the Catholic Church and ruler of the Papal States from the 31st of March 1829 to his death in 1830. Pius VIII's pontificate was the shortest of the 19th century and is likely the least remembered. His brief papacy witnessed the Catholic emancipation in Great Britain in 1829, which he welcomed, and the July Revolution in France in 1830, which he reluctantly accepted. Pius VIII is often remembered for his writings on marriages between Catholics and Protestants in the 1830 encyclical Literus Altero Abinc, in which he declared that a marriage could only be properly blessed if proper provisions had been made to ensure the bringing up of children in the Catholic faith. His death less than two years after his election to the papacy has led to speculation of a possible murder. Early life Francesco Saverio Castiglione was born in Singoli, Marche, the third of eight children of Count Ottavio Castiglione and his wife Sanzia Ghisleri. His baptismal name was recorded as Francesco Saverio Maria Felice. An ancestor of his was Pope Celestine IV. He studied at the Collegio Campana run by the Society of Jesus and, after that, at the University of Bologna where he earned a doctorate in canon law and in civil law in 1785. He was ordained to the priesthood in Rome on December 17, 1785. He served as the Vicar General of Anagni (1788–90), Fano (1790–97), and Ascoli Piscino (1797–1800). Topic. Episcopate and Cardinalate Topic. On August 11, 1800, Castiglione was appointed Bishop of Montalto. He received episcopal consecration on August 17 in Rome at the Church of Santi Domenico e Sisto. Cardinal Giuseppe Doria Pamphili served as consecrator, assisted by Nicola Bisci and Camillo Campanelli. He refused to swear allegiance to Napoleon or to his client state, the Kingdom of Italy. On July 29, 1808, he was arrested and taken to Milan. Castiglione was subsequently taken to Pavia, to Mantua, and then to Turin, where he arrived on November 10, 1813. On November 18, he was brought back to Milan. Finally, after Napoleon fell, Castiglione returned to his diocese on June 16, 1814. He was praised by Pope Pius VII who in 1816 elevated him to the Cardinalate as the Cardinal Priest of Santa Maria in Traspontina. He held various high offices thereafter, including that of Apostolic Penitentiary. He soon became a Cardinal Bishop of the Suburbicarian See of Frascati. Castiglione was considered a front-runner in the Conclave of 1823. He was known to be close to Pius VII, who often referred to Castiglione as Pius VIII. However, he failed to gain the necessary votes, in part due to controversy surrounding an alliance between him and another favorite, Secretary of State Ercole Consalvi. Cardinal Annabel della Genga was elected instead, and he took the name of Pope Leo XII. <laughs> <laughs> Papacy <laughs> Election. After the death of Pope Leo XII in 1829, Castiglione was again considered to be a major candidate, though was questioned due to his frail health. Despite these concerns, he was elected as Pope in the Papal Conclave of 1829. Given that Pope Pius VII had referred to him as Pius VIII, it seemed only suitable that it was the pontifical name that he chose. He was crowned on April 5, 1829 by Cardinal Giuseppe Albani. Topic. Modernism and biblical translations Topic. As Pope Pius VIII, he initiated some reforms in the Papal States. On May 24, 1829 he issued an encyclical, Traditi Humilitata. Regarding religious pluralism, he condemned the "...foul contrivance of the sophists of this age," that would place Catholicism on par with any other religion. Regarding Bible translations, he wrote in that encyclical, We must also be wary of those who publish the Bible with new interpretations contrary to the Church's laws. They skillfully distort the meaning by their own interpretation. 
They print the Bibles in the vernacular and, absorbing an incredible expense, offer them free even to the uneducated. Furthermore, the Bibles are rarely without perverse little inserts to ensure that the reader imbibes their lethal poison instead of the saving water of salvation. On 25 March 1830, in the brief Literus Altero, he condemned the Masonic secret societies and modernist biblical translations. Pius VIII accepted the situation on mixed marriages between Protestants and Catholics in Germany, but he opposed changes in Ireland and Poland, which were still strongly Catholic. In Literus Altero Abinc, he declared that a mixed marriage could only be blessed by a priest if proper promises had been made to educate the children of the marriage as Catholics. Other activities His brief pontificate saw the Catholic emancipation in the United Kingdom and the July Revolution in France, which occurred in 1829 and 1830, respectively. Pius VIII recognized Louis Philippe I as French king and allowed him to use the French king's customary title, Roy Trace Chretien, which means, His Most Christian Majesty. Pius VIII also held three consistories in which he elevated a total of six men into the cardinalate. He held these ceremonies on July 27, 1829, March 15, 1830, and July 5, 1830. He canonized no saints during his brief pontificate but he beatified two individuals. On December 23, 1829 he beatified Benin Casa da Montepulciano, and on March 4, 1830 he beatified Chiara Gambacorti. In 1830 Pius VIII proclaimed St. Bernard of Clairvaux a doctor of the Church. Of remarkable importance to the future is a letter of his to a French bishop, in which he allowed the taking of moderate interest under the principle of foregoing a profit by investing the Lent capital, CVIX pervenit for the discussion of the topic. Being, at that time, head of the Roman state, he remained popular for decades for removing the so-called cancelletti grids from the taverns, which Leo XII had ordered to be put there to hinder the consumption of wine unless accompanied by a meal. A poem was written about him that ran thus, Allor che il samo pio, comparve inanzia dio, gli domando, che hai fatto? Rispose, nintaho fatto. Caressor gli angeletti, levo i cancelletti which is approximately in English, at the time when the highest pious, approached God in the highest, he asked him, what have you got done? He answered, there's nothing I've got done. But the angels present knew better. He cancelled the canceletter. <laughs> Health and death Pius VIII was in very poor health during most of his papacy. He died on November 30, 1830 at the age of 69 in the Quirinal Palace in Rome. Certain theories have emerged suggesting that Pius VIII was poisoned, but no proof has been found to verify this claim. Cardinal Camillo di Pietro gave the funeral oration for the late Pope, before the cardinals entered the conclave to choose a successor. Pius VIII was succeeded by Pope Gregory XVI. Topic. See also. Topic. Cardinals created by Pius VIII List of popes Topic. References Topic. Topic. Literature Topic. Giuseppe Monsagrati, Pio VIII in, Massimo Bray, ed., Encyclopedia dei Papi, Istituto della Encyclopedia Italiana, Vol. 3, Innocenzo 8, Giovanni Paolo II, Rome, 2000, OCLC 313581724. Christoph Dom, 1994. Pius VIII. In Bots, Traugott. Biographisch Bibliographisches Kirchenlexikon, BBKL, in German, 7. Herzberg, Botz, Calls. 673-677. ISBN 3-88309-048-4. External links Topic. Papal Encyclicals Online Pope Pius VIII Encyclicals and Other Works, Intratext Digital Library 
Agostino Chiga Diary, Intratext Digital Library in Italian. Catholic Hierarchy Entry Works by and about Pope Pius VIII in the Deutsche Digital Bibliothek German Digital Library <laughs>